morning. So here we go again. And uh, things are, I, <laughs> it's speechless. I am having such a good morning. Uh, I'm sleeping so well. I haven't slept this well since I can remember. I get up to the bathroom in the middle of the night, climb back into bed, and I'm out. That's so cool. Oh, this is one of the shirts that I tie-dyed. I actually, like, it's from years ago. And sometime in the past, I cut off the arms and I cut off the neck. <laughs> and my mom was supposed to fix it. Uh, well, she didn't. And in the, in the decluttering, I found it. I'm like, sweet, I'm keeping that shirt. It's an e-diet shirt. Where is it? E-diet? And um, I went on e-diet. Man, back when Chance was like in grade three, I think it was. And um, I lost, I don't know, something like 50 pounds or something. And it went really well. Like, I love the diet, but it was a calorie counting diet. And I still was, like, I was still overweight. But the interesting thing is when I lost my first 50 with keto... Um, or that 50 with keto, because I gained it back, of course. That 50 with keto, um, I was thinner than I was when I lost it on this standard diet. And then when I uh, lost, because keto ultimately didn't work for me, I went on carnivore and ended up losing, it wasn't quite 50 anymore. But it was, when I was back at that marker, um, I was thinner from carnivore, like I had less fat than I did from keto and from this other diet. But uh, e-diets had different kinds of diets, and that's where I learned about um, the Atkins diet. And I tried that out, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Like, I was so, I enjoyed it so much. But I was told it was unhealthy back then, so I got off of it. Yeah, right, like, you know, <laughs> you kind of wish you could see into the future. But um, I am having a good time. I have uh, hanging tenderloin and stew meat in the slow cooker for chance. We're going to be doing uh, an unboxing video today. We're also going to be doing a carnivore video today. Uh, making a burger and I wanted to make that burger when I was eating but got to get it done so um, I oil pulled this morning I've actually started oil pulling again a lot yes last night I used to oil pull every day now oil pull is taking coconut oil and I add essential oil peppermint on it or thieves or whatever and then you swoosh it around in your mouth and you don't swallow and then you spit it into the garbage I uh, used to do, I've done it for years and years and years, and then I had a tooth pulled, and you weren't allowed to, like, um, do that. Like, it was, you weren't allowed to, I guess, if, if you know if you had a tooth pulled, you can't, what, what you can, can't do. Uh, so, I wasn't allowed to, to oil pull, and then I kind of got off of it, and with this uh, fast, I found my body is detoxing and in the back on top uh, by my last tooth um, I've got a sore that has developed from where I have no idea. So I started oil pulling last night and I sprayed a couple times with colloidal silver and it's feeling better already. Uh, one thing I wish I would have thought of like four days ago because when I fast, I get this ugh, mouth. Um, I guess it's being in ketosis. But, oh, I just hate the taste of my mouth. And uh, so oil pulling definitely helps that. And uh, definitely going to oil pull a couple times a day. And then I was doing that while I was making breakfast, which really isn't a bad thing because you can't shove anything in your mouth when you're oil pulling. Um, can't say... <laughs> much. I'm just in a really good mood and I love my shirt it's so cute even though it's kind of hacked to pieces so I will see you later 
And today, apparently, it rained praise Jehovah. I don't know how much we got, but we're grateful for, for any amount right now. Everything is so, so dry. And uh, so it's a video day. Hey, that'll keep my mind off of food even though we're working on food. <laughs> See you later. Hey, everybody. So going on 221 hours now of fasting. We just finished our carnivore video and um, chances beside me eating it. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was funny because we did the first one and I put it all together like everything taped until the last segment and I was putting it all together and all of a sudden Chance looks at the camera and he's like it's not taping. I'm like seriously? I'm not so, complaining. That means we got two of them. So now he's got two burgers to eat. <laughs> like, the first one was like, oh, I want this burger. The second one was like, oh, I want this burger. <laughs> <laughs> but they are really good. So um, if you're looking for a really good burger, check that video out. But um, Fast is still doing good. I feel a little bit tired today. Uh, it's awesome that I'm near, like, 10, 10 days. Uh, I wanted to go a bit longer. I don't know if I will. 10 day was, days was kind of my, my um, minimum that I wanted to reach. So uh, we will see how things go. And for the rest of the day, I'm just doing paperwork. So it's been fun. It's uh, So tomorrow's might be an interesting one then, eh? Oh, I got to eat? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I have to see how good of a mood I'm in. Usually in the mornings I'm in such a good mood I can like rock it till 4 o'clock. Again, till 4 o'clock. Hmm. And, uh, but that's, I don't know, that's the way my body is for some weird reason. So, we'll see you one more time tonight. Talk to you later. So, I'm at the end of day 9. And I'm on, what is it? This is day 10. Well, yeah, but it's hourly. It's day nine. Oh. So I'm on 227 hours. Well, I guess it would be day 10 because I've only got, what, 13 hours to go. Hmm. So, but uh, tomorrow I just may break my fast. Uh, today it was interesting. I had so much energy in the morning and I got a lot done. Got videos done. We got, we had a lot of fun. And probably around four o'clock things got really tough. And then around five I was exhausted. Just tired. I ended up going to take about an hour long nap. I just couldn't function. And when I get to that point, it's my body saying, you know what, I think it's time to start refeeding. So that's what possibly is the goal tomorrow. I'm not sure what time I'll start refeeding, but it will probably be tomorrow. I may start at 11 or I may push it until 4 o'clock <laughs> and then start then. And we'll show you how I'm going to start my refeeding. Uh, other than that, my pain is still... Man, if I could stay on this and, and not eat forever and have the amount of pain I have right now, I'd do it. Like, seriously. I, I can't get over how the fasting has taken away my pain. It just blows my mind. And even this thing that I said that I had, like kind of a sore that showed up like a couple days ago or three days ago, with the oil pulling and the silver, it seems almost gone. Um, it's been an amazing fast. Would I re recommend it? I don't know. It's up to you. You're going to have to decide. I remember the first time I said it, would I ever do it again? I'm like, no. Okay, so here I sit and I'm redoing it. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, for me, it's incredible. It really helped me to feel better about myself. It helped me to refocus 
my thoughts, my eating, my um, just everything. And I was able to get so much done, like, you know, and I still miss the food. And I think that's something that doesn't go away, I know for me anyways. The food, you know, I, I prepared uh, a egg white pizza bun for mom and a pizza uh, hamburger for dad and then you know chances got I was working anyway so I threw stuff together for him it's tough when you can't eat and you're working with food all the time but I mean if I can do it and I've got all these different kinds of food going on anybody can do it and I know I've heard people say that before well I can do it anybody can do it but I'm working with food all the time it's not like I've got just carnivore food I've got the only thing we don't have in this house is gluten and actually mom and dad brought home a box of gluten cookies the other day and we kind of got upset because there is this is a gluten-free house for 11 years now and they forgot that but um, yeah so the like this is the only thing I don't have in the house is gluten but I've got everything else and well okay minus pork and seafood <laughs> but so I mean I've got temptation all the time and I'm making stuff all the time and I'm putting up videos for allergies bite so for those people that aren't on carnivore, aren't on paleo, aren't on keto and just on gluten free I'm putting stuff up for them so I have to make stuff for them so man if I can fast through all this you know it takes a lot of push but you can do it and a lot of distraction distraction is the key if you can distract yourself <laughs> you got it made so I hope you enjoyed the videos thus far we'll probably have one more tomorrow and uh, we'll see you tomorrow good night